Hey everybody, here is a quick tutorial on how to fix some of that spiraling topology that ZebraMasher gives us when we're using it. So here's my high poly mesh. We'll go ahead and decimate it first. I've already honed it on the density that I want. I'm keeping it fairly low. I have adaptive density off and I have a low adaptive size so that this topology is going to be very consistent, very imprecise really but good enough for our purposes and good enough that we can manually fix it later once all those spirals are gone. There we go. It's not symmetrical right now which does not matter because we're going to mirror and weld at the end anyhow. When we use crease curves, the tool that'll fix those spirals, uh, it won't respect the mirror brush anyway. So there's no point in worrying about it at the moment. All right. So for something more complex than this, it's a little harder to tell and you'll want to use select lasso to figure out where exactly those spirals are happening. S for select, L for lasso in the brush menu. And by control shift and clicking an edge, you'll have to zoom in very close to get it to work, you can hide edge rings, like so. This is what we want, it hides a single row, a single column, it's what we would expect our edge flow to be, our topology to be. Now, if we try somewhere else, like over here, I'm seeing that there is a spiral, and it will hide the entire thing, because one edge just flows into the next, into the next. To fix that, it's not too difficult. I have this mesh so low poly right now, so I can go back and forth, back and forth, in case the initial crease doesn't work. But all we really need is to go back to the brush menu and use crease curve, which is C for crease, E for curve well for the end of curve. Anyhow, find a point that's fairly straight on your uh, limb, your tube, whatever it may be, and control shift off the model, click and drag to add a new slice. It will add new vertices, new edges, and you'll see the dotted line indicates that there is now a crease. If this is a close enough spot, something that's consistent enough for the model, when we retopologize it now, it will conform to that edge essentially and create even topology that does not spiral. And that looks about right, so I'll double check using select lasso, control shift, and clicking an edge. And there we go, the spiral is gone. The topology is similar enough that I can project it back onto the high poly model that I presumably would have set up beforehand. And because it is a little bit different, there are cases where something might not end up exactly where you want it. And at that point, you can always pop backwards, find out where a new spiral has popped up, and then add a crease for that one as well. So I can tell this has a spiral. I'll add a crease over here. The remesh. Not quite fixed. Let me see if adding a second crease next to it will force it into place. There we go. So that one is now perfectly set up just by using two creases next to each other. This one over here, we may add a second one as well, just so we have it consistent. And there's a little bit of back and forth, but once it's all finished, the result speaks for itself. Sometimes changing the angle is more effective than adding more creases. Once more for good measure. All right, you can see why I'm working on the low poly version as opposed to a high poly version. But I'm sure once you get used to the little nuances, it will be much faster. All right, so there, that's fixed our problem topology in both of these sections. Uh, we have something that we can export now and work with in a, another program to add edges, remove edges, and we don't have to worry about that long-running edge that never can be resolved. So again at the end this is the time to make sure that it is mirrored properly so I'll modify topology mirror and weld just to be certain everything's set up and now I am ready to move on to another program and continue working with it. Alright, hope that helped. 
Uh, as you can see, it's not perfect, but it's a heck of a lot better than not being able to change those edges at all. Have a good one, everybody. Bye.